Okay, here we go. We are doing not quite Sussman chicken today. So as you all know, Sussman chicken is uh, named after Naomi Sussman. I mean, I can never do these cameras. Named after Naomi Sussman of the Squirrel Hill area, Squirrel Hill area of, of Pittsburgh. There are a lot of Pittsburgh connections today. I'm like Ray Liotta in, uh, in uh, Goodfellas where he's getting all his drugs from. But I'm not getting drugs. I'm getting something better. I'm getting something that's going to help you build muscle, not waste muscle. And that's Sussman chicken. All right? A lot of great stuff comes out of Sus uh, Squirrel Hill. All right? Mr. Rogers, okay, is from Squirrel Hill. But the main thing here is, look, I understand Naomi Sussman didn't invent this. I know, I'm sure that this Sussman chicken, which is based on uh, soy sauce and honey, has been in the planet for a long time. I'm sure it has some Asian uh, roots or whatever. But the, the key thing is, yeah, well, here's what I understand. Enough of my ranting. I hate cooking. I hate cleaning. I hate preparing. But I want to keep my weight below 200 pounds. And the only way I'm going to do that is to be able to eat foods that taste good but don't crush me in terms of calories. And this is where Sussman chicken comes in. Well, not quite Sussman chicken. It tastes amazing, but at the same time, it's got a lot of protein and it manages the calories. The reason why I call it not quite Sussman chicken is actual Sussman chicken is simply just a measurement. It's just simply a measurement. It's simply a combination of soy sauce and honey. Now, the key I found, this is critical, it's like the John Burns Super Bowl Party Chicken Burns Triple Bar Sandwich, is you got to get the honey in the bear, the bear bottle. I don't know why it makes a difference. I know Brick Tamlin claimed the bear smell of the menstruation. No. The key is there's something about the honey when it's in the bear that makes a difference. Even though the bears really don't eat the honey, they eat the bee's larva because the protein is the most important thing. But whatever. Get your honey in the bear. I promise you it'll make a difference. Even though it won't. All right, so we got our soy sauce, we got our honey, we got the foundations of what would be Sussman chicken. Where it becomes not quite is, as you can see here, this is made in a crock, what am I even there? It's in a crock pot, right? So Sussman chicken is actually made in an oven with love. This is being made by me in a crock pot with an incredible level of disinterest. So I had to modify the basic, the basic roux, that's not right. The basic, um, what is it? Marinade, marinade. I'm sorry, I'm not good with French. I've always struggled with vowels. The basic marinade I had to had to uh, modify a little because it was being made in the crock pot, and I was afraid it would turn into like dried out cadaver flesh. So what we do is we have our initial components. So again, honey bear, and we have the uh, Kikoman soy sauce. But then what I do is I get out my Pyrex cup. Don't start me on this thing. They don't make Pyrex like they used to. And I'm going to put in a quarter cup of the honey. Okay, so maybe you can see this right here. You want to see everything. There will be no smoke detectors here, hopefully, unless we have one of these this is us moments. And the I have not properly maintained the, the this is horrible. I shouldn't be saying this. That made people cry. Uh, I didn't properly maintain the crock pot. I'm not going to burn the whole house down, but probably shouldn't be kidding about that. All right, so again, I'm going to put a quarter cup of the bear honey in there. Boom, right there. So just so you can see that, it's not an exact measurement, but as we know, cooking is art, baking is science. So there's our quarter cup of that. Here's our second Pittsburgh connection. We're gonna use a little Heinz tomato ketchup. Never Hunt's tomato ketchup. Nothing against the Hunt's people, but I can't stand Hunt's ketchup. Actually, I don't know how that couldn't be. No offense to the Hunt's people. How can I not, how can I not be offended? I just told, I just told you I hate their product, but well, whatever. Okay, so we got a quarter cup of that in there. Boom, right there. And again, the ketchup. I do not believe the ketchup is part of the normal Sussman chicken, but I got to do that because, again, of the crock pot. And it gives a little added flavor. And again, that kind of offsets some of my disinterest. So there you go. You got a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of the, the ah, Heinz tomato ketchup. Now, this is what I do with this. If I do this, it'll take forever to do like that. So what usually I do is I just take a knife and I pop this stupid. Not stupid, I can't screw it. I pop that stupid, like, that, that stupid plastic cover off of it. And I'm going to use probably close to about a half a cup of soy sauce, wherever the hell I have left in there. Wow, that's about a half a cup right there. We'll throw that in there and wash it out, recycle it later. All right, so right now, real simple. A guy like me can put this together, so can you. Quarter cup of honey, quarter cup of ketchup, half a cup of soy sauce. Now I'm going to take, should I do a spoon or a fork? Let me try a fork first, see how it goes. And I'm going to mix it all together. So there you go. I'm putting together the marinade. I'm mixing together the honey, the ketchup, and the soy sauce, just like that. Now, this isn't alchemy, people. 
This is simple. We're not turning lead into gold. We're just mixing the ingredients up. Right there. Right there. So we're mixing that all up right there. Okay. So that's all mixed up. Mix that as well as I'm going to mix it up. So there's your marinade. All right. By the way, I'm not marinating stuff. I'm not getting out a plastic bag and then hours beforehand when I can barely wake up in the morning, pouring the chicken in there with the plastic. So it's going to be in a crock pot for six hours. That's enough of a marinade. Right? So what I do then is I take my pan because I'm paranoid and I'm going to spray the bottom of the crock pot with the pan. If you can see that, we just get a little action shot in here. Again, I need to get myself a film crew. So there's the pan. Non-New York City dirt bag levels of pan. We're not trying to spray paint the side of a train here and claim it's art when all it does is create urban blight. All right, so boom, we got the pan in there. As you notice too, my crock pot is nothing sexy. This crock pot was once in the position of Helen Norton Thompson. She got rid of it. She upgraded. There's no timer on this. There's no special numbers. There's no electronics. It's a freaking old school, basic as you can get, crock pot. You don't need. Look, when you're making not quite sussman chicken, you don't need anything fancy. I'm not a fancy guy. I don't eat fancy food. I wouldn't know what to do with it. So I got my crock pot right there. I'm going to plug that bad boy in right there. So that's going to be plugged in. Boom, right there. We got the spray all the way down. So now we're going to take our chicken. And this chicken happens to be from McCaffrey's in Princeton. This is boneless, boneless, skinless chicken. You can use chicken thighs. I actually prefer chicken thighs. I think they taste better. I'm, I'm a huge dark meat fan. Don't take that for anything other than the fact I like dark meat chicken. Right? So we got our, our, our boneless, skinless chicken breast. We're going to throw that in there. In the crock pot, I find it doesn't really matter. I find the crock pot, the chicken breast gets so shredded and cooked down, you simply don't need the superior flavor of the dark meat chicken thighs, right? And it does save us a little bit on calories. So again, I'm going to peel this sucker open. I'm going to throw the breasts. Let me see if I can get this without, without cross-contaminating my computer. Let's see if we can do this again. I need to get myself a film crew. Probably edit out some of the things. Oh, one other thing that I always do is I always, for some, again, my neurosis is stronger than my lack of desire for preparation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut the chicken up a little bit. Right? I don't know if it, I think somehow my wacko head, I think this makes it cook more evenly. Right there. Right there. You don't typically, I don't ever usually do this with the dark meat chicken, but you just never know. It might, it might help. It may not help. You may be right, you may be wrong. I may, what's it, Bill Joe? You may be right, I may be crazy, but I just might be the lunatic you're looking for. Right there. Right there. Turn out the lights. Don't try to save me. You may be wrong, but all I know, you may be right. Actually, when it comes to me being crazy, I know you're right, but here we go. So now the chicken's all cut up. Let me just wash the hands to keep the cross contamination down to a bare minimum. We want to enjoy our Sussman chicken, not be stuck on the toilet because of it. Okay, so right there, so you can see the shot. We've got the, the chicken and the Pam in there. It's all cut up. Just, I don't know, some bizarre belief. I think it makes it cook better. Then we take our marinade or whatever this thing becomes. I have no idea. And we're going to take it and we're going to pour it right into the crock pot. Right there, baby. Pour it right on top of the chicken. Okay, so nothing too fancy here. It's a little bit of honey in the bottom. Hold on, I'm going to get a spoon. Let's throw that in there. I'm going to get a spoon. So you look at my ceiling. I'm going to get out the spoon just so I can scrape some of the... Yeah, there was some honey hiding out there in the bottom. No way, man. Right there. Oh, my face. And no, I'm not Giada De Laurentiis. I am not with the manicured nails and the beautiful smile. And the, I don't look good in the kitchen, but what am I going to do? I am what I am. So boom, right there. So now you see all that's in there. I'm just going to stir it so it coats evenly. All right. Right there, as you can see that, there is this, the not quite so. It's that simple, people. Look, it's that simple. All I did was mix it. Three ingredients in my Pyrex glass, stirred them up, cut up the kit chicken, dumped it in the low old school crock pot, poured the, the, the marinade over top of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my lid and put it on the top. Now, 
Here's what I'm told by people. These little like metal, let's see if we can get the camera here. These little metal things here, they aren't supposed to be on. This apparently is only for reasons of transport, all right? So apparently you want to leave these off to allow some of the steam to get out. You don't want to seal this sucker tight. If I'm being crockpot ignorant, please let me know. But that's what I've been told, so that's what I do. So we're right there because, you know, I'm that much of an independent thinker. So I got that there. I'm just going to simply put this sucker, let's see the camera down here. I'm going to put that camera, um, camera. I'm going to put it down on low. It's going to cook for five hours unadulterated, right? The reason why it's going to be, let me set the timer so I don't forget about it. You guys, you guys see everything. Five hours, boom, right there. So I don't forget about it. It's going to have a fancy crock pot with a timer built into it, right? So there's your five hours right there. Don't, God help you. You start singing the final countdown by Europe and I'm going to lose it. All right, so there it is. It's cooking now in five hours. This is going to be Sussman chicken and not quite Sussman chicken and potatoes. Again, I'm not going to go buy potatoes. I'm not going to clean each one. I'm not going to cut them. They say, Shank, how lazy can you get? I say, bring it on. That's how lazy I can get. I dare you to accuse me to get lazier, right? Take these all right of the diced hash brown potatoes, not the shredded ones because they'll melt. But I take the diced potatoes, I let this cook for about five hours. Now there's been a debate here. Vanessa King was the actual cook in the group. She has said to me, Mike, if you put these in there for more than a half hour, they're going to turn to mush. Uh, Peter Krogan, who's a Scotsman, and we always know that Scotsmans are always right. Anything that's Scottish is crap. He says 45 minutes. Me, because I'm paranoid, I'm going to put them in there for an hour. Again, I'm just nervous that I'm going to have these frozen, disgusting potatoes to bite into. So what I'll do is I'll cook the Sussman, not quite Sussman chicken. I'll rip this open at hour number five. I'll dump it in there into the chicken mix. And then I'll let that cook for an hour. And all of a sudden, I have Sussman chicken and potatoes. Now, some people said, Shank, why, why would you dump it in there? Why don't you just put it on a cookie sheet and bake it? I don't want to do that. It's just, it's, look, here's the deal. I've never made this before. So if I dump this in here and it tastes like total garbage, like the potatoes just get all saturated and disgusting, I'll probably never do it ever again, right? And then I'll go through the extra step of putting a, what you do is you take the potatoes, put them on a cookie sheet, put a piece of like aluminum foil down so it doesn't permanently stay in the cookie sheet relative to my desire to clean it. You put a little oil over top of it and you bake it at like, I don't know, off to ask Devin. I think it's like 350 or 400 degrees for like 20 minutes. If this doesn't come out well, the the, uh, the Sussman chicken mix of the potatoes, that's what I'll wind up doing. But I'll mix them together this time. We'll see how it comes out. And then my mistake won't be your mistake. My triumph will be your triumph. So if this works out, it's going to work out awesome for you. And if it doesn't work out, then you don't have to suffer through having gross potatoes on top of your chicken. I'll do it for you. Again, we're trying to give you life skills and improve your life because here's the deal. Life is tough. Food is one of the most widely abused antidepressants on the planet. The issue is we all want to get, we all want to lose weight, but we all want our food to taste great. So what I do with these meals, like the not quite Sussman chicken with potatoes, like what we're going to make tomorrow, the fajita chicken recipe I'm going to make tomorrow, we're trying to meet you halfway. We're trying to say, all right, how do we get the calorie control? How do we get the protein, but do so in a way that tastes so good that we can use those foods to help us navigate the miseries of life a little bit, or at least give our life a little bit of enjoyment. You, know, you can't eat pizza and donuts every day. I think it would be great if you could, but you can't. So we need to have these kind of recipes. Look, if you like to cook, if you're like, Shank, why don't you just chop up onions and peppers and, and where's all the other ingredients? Look, if you love to cook, I'm happy for you. I hate, I hate cooking as much as I hate mayonnaise. Right? So this is the way I cook. If, th if that, that's why I do it this way. The key thing is to get the flavor and get it in the delivery mechanism that you can handle consistently. Let me leave it with this because I have to come back later when I add the potatoes in here and then we do the taste test. Let me finish off with this. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you believe. I don't care what you know is right. I care what you do. Because the only thing that makes a difference in your weight loss program is what you do consistently over time. You could have the most one. Shrink, there's no skins on those potatoes. You're losing all those nutrients. 
I don't care. I don't like it. I won't do it consistently enough. And then while you're sitting there eating a bunch of crap because you won't go through all the work to do things where you know they should be done, I'm way ahead. All right? You get it. I don't care what you know. I care what you do consistently. And this is what I found helps me be consistent with my diet in a way that gives me flavor at the same time it, it doesn't require me to start chopping broccoli and onions, which I would never do because, I again, I hate that. So that's it. I'm going to stop the filming now, come back in an hour. Uh, I'm sorry, five hours. I'm going to put the potatoes in, see how that turns out. Uh, and then an hour after that, we'll do the taste test and see how it is. So that's the recipe. Not quite Sussman. Honey and soy sauce. Oh, shit. I put it in there for five minutes, not five hours. What a dumbass. Um, but that's it. That's my buzzer saying wrap it up, loudmouth. I'll see you guys in five hours. That's it. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye. Shut up.